So in today's Jane Davenport video, we are going to be working with mermaid markers. So stay tuned because I am going to paint a pansy with mermaid markers and I'm going to tell you how you can win some Jane Davenport items. Alright, so I have all of these. Um, I have her original set of mermaid markers and then I have the sun bleached set. So I didn't buy the other ones because uh, I just couldn't spend, I wanted some other items from Jay, from her and um, so I had to be selective in which mermaid markers I was getting and I couldn't get them all. But I have swatched them out here. So this is her original ones. These are her sun bleach series except for beach. Beach was up there. So she's got sandbar, seashell, uh, Saunch, Conch, Bolly Blue, Lagoon, and Driftwood. And as you can see, these are a little bit more subdued and maybe a little bit easier to work with. I haven't done a whole lot with her mermaid markers there. I do have a video that I did like a couple years ago when I when, they, when her mermaid markers first came out. And I did like a yellow rose with the pirate's gold, I believe. That's about all that I've really done. Um, oh, I've I did a watercolor portrait as well. I did find that they were awesome, but a little bit hard to control. So we're gonna see how they go today. I am probably gonna use this one and the blue bottle, and then um, the sandbar and the greens here to do some leaves, and we'll see what else happens. But yeah. So before we get into that, I just want to show you what you can win and how you can do it, how you can enter. So I've got some Jane Davenport a Bright, her Brights watercolor palette and some washi tape sheets and her acrylic stamps, different eyes and lips and uh, face. And then I'm going to include some of her collage paper and um, a few other things that I still haven't figured out yet. To enter to win, you just need to comment on um, my Jane Davenport videos. You need to have commented on each one. And each comment gets you an entry. And you need to like each one and be subscribed to me. So there you go. That's how you can enter. And now that we have got that out of the way, let's see what we can do here. Don't mind my heater. I'll try to talk above it as it's on. It's just warming me up a little bit. So I'm just going to lift that out a little bit. We're going to see if we can lift these colors. Um, you can also do this just not doing the center, but since I did it, Let's just see how well this, this lifts. And it lifts pretty well. Just a little bit here. Mm, might be a little bit too early. Still quite wet. That's okay. Um, and let's actually, well here, since I have her markers, Let's see if we can just soften some of these edges up. So I find water brushes are great for um, traveling. I still bring my travel brushes that I have, but I do like to have like on the airplane or something these are great. You don't need to fiddle around with a cup of water. Sandbar. So it's kind of turning it into green. So I'm looking for a little bit of an indigo and that blue bottle isn't doing it for me. So I have this deep sea which is very dark and then I have the blue bottle right here and um, maybe the reef and that might give me some kind of or yeah 
What did I do there? That was the reef. No, nope. where's the reef? There it is. This might give me some kind of black that I'm looking for. We'll see. And I'll just go back to my brush. So this is a fine, let's do the medium. And these are her um, water brushes and they work, they work great for water brushes. So that is definitely more of an indigo color. So that was just adding deep sea, blue bottle, and reef. And those are all from her original mermaid marker line, lines. I don't think this one's supposed to be, this one's kind of the background one. So I'm gonna put that a little bit darker. Oh, I like that. I might just go with it. It's kind of just looks like a four leaf clover. We're gonna kind of work this way instead. Ooh, I like that. That looks awesome. Because this is supposed to be a secondary pansy, but I should have known with that purple. It was never going to be secondary. Okay, I really like that. Just going to bring it under control just a little bit. There. And while it's running, let's use some green. Stick some green in there. We've got Siren. And we're just going to Fiddle around here with different greens and yellow. Really nicely. This is so nice. Woo! There we go. Okay. Whoa, that is just going crazy. I'm gonna leave the leave the lid on that one. I'm just gonna let that sit and let's see if we can go in. And just take even more out of here now. And I'm just gonna leave that for a little bit, but I am gonna add some of the sandbar, which is right here. So I think I like, well, the beach yellow. The pilot, Pirate's Gold is um, really nice because it has a little bit of an earthiness, like an orange gold tinge to it, which is called Pirate's Gold. And Sandbar is nice, um, but for a nice kind of warmer yellow, I like the beach. There we go. And I'm just, I want to work with this one more, but i got to give it some time. It's a little out of control, that one. This is jellyfish, which is going to do nothing for me. Like, I don't even know. That's... So I'm just going to go in like that. But I love, look at this. Look at this interaction there. Oh, so nice. 
So that was basically all the greens and then I added some pirate's gold in there. So it was mostly the siren and the seaweed in here and then the pirate's gold and there's a little bit like we have some blue in there which I don't know what that's from but it's awesome. And it reminds me of Cascade Green by Daniel Smith which is one of my favorite greens but I just want to do something with this so I'm just going to Let's just see here if I can lift any of it. Yeah, so this actually lifts really nice. It's just, just controlling it. You really gotta watch these, uh, these crazy mermaid markers. They're crazy. And I'm just going to, I just want to shade this to give it more of a leaf kind of texture. We'll see what that does. Let it sit there for a little bit. And these mermaid markers are fascinating creatures. Yeah, that's really kind of setting it. I love that. All right. So that kind of gives you an idea. You can see it's just like, it's crazy vivid. And look at my hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just watching that on my monitor and I'm like, I look like, okay. Anyway, never mind. Okay, so the mermaid markers. They're crazy. They're intense. You got to practice lots to control them. It does work to mix some, as we saw. The dark ones are just, oh, they're crazy. But like, look at this granulation. Like you can see my brush strokes and it just looks awesome. Like, I love this. And then I just went in with the, the Pirate's Gold on top of this. And that just is a nice kind of glaze. And I just love this. I'm just gonna let that sit there and dry on its own. 